Okay, today we'll be discussing data structures basic and we will be defining some terms used in data structures. First is data type. Data type is a way to classify various types of data such as integer, strings, and others, which determines the value that can be used with the corresponding type of data, the type of operations that can be performed on the corresponding type of data. There are two data types. These are the built-in data type, which we'll be discussing later, and the derived data type also will be discussed later. So built-in data type. Those data types for which a language has built-in support are known as built-in data types. For example, most of the languages provide the following built-in data types. One is integers. So integers are actually whole numbers. Then the next one is Boolean. Boolean, this can have two possible values, true or false. Floating, so these are also numbers but can have uh, decimal or fractions. And we have characters in strings. So these are usually the built-in data type. We also have what we call the derived data type. Those data types which are implementation independent as they can be implemented in one, uh, one or the other way are known as derived data types. These data types are normally built by the combination of primary or built-in data types, just like what we have discussed in the previous slide, and associated operations on them. So for example, we have here list, array, stack, and queue. We will not be discussing this in detail because this will be our next topics. Basic operations. The data in the data structures are processed by certain operations. The particular data structure chosen largely depends on the frequency of the operation that needs to be performed on the data structure. And the basic operations are the following. We have traversing, this is where we try to retrieve each element in a data structure. Let's say, for example, if you want to print all elements, then the operation we use is what we call traversing. Searching is self-explanatory. If you want to search for an element inside the data structure, we use searching. If you want, then the next one is insertion. If you want to add data to the data structure, we use insertion. If you want to delete an element, of course, we use the deletion operation. We want to arrange the elements in a predetermined sequence, let's say chronological, highest to lowest, lowest to highest, alphabetical, and then we use sorting. And the next one is what we call merging. If we want to combine the elements, maybe of two data structures, then we call that merging. So these are the basic operations. Thank you.